Hello everyone, this video is about uh, managing rows on the Pulse theme and I have decided to create a specific video for, for showing the row options because they play a really important role uh, on this particular theme. So from your dashboard, let's click on pages, all pages and just uh, what I'm going to do is just select a specific page and I'm going to click on the row options so that you can see what you, what you can do with it. So I'm going to grab on the adventure sample and um, make sure that you have a visual composer mode active. So if you are seeing something like this, um, which is the classic editor, make sure that you select backend editor to activate visual composer. And then you, you will see your, your page content. Um, so today we're going to look into the row, as I was telling you, so click on the pencil button on a specific row and this will open a, a pop-up window with uh, with some of the options. Um, so basically we have here three tabs on top. One is the general set, uh, settings, the other one is the viewports, which basically we can go already through this one. Um, it will allow you to hide the row on certain screens. You can hide it on larger screens or on, on smaller screens. and um, you can also decide if you want to activate the mobile mode, which basically will make your columns have 100% width. You can activate it uh, within the default value, which is seven, 768 pixels, or for on wider screens, you can also activate mobile mode. This option, you will probably never need it, but um, if, on, if on a particular row, you want to activate the mobile mode sooner, you just come here and select this, this second option. So back to the general tab, which is probably the only one that you are going to use. The first uh, option you have is the row ID. And uh, this is important for when you have, um, and let's look onto this page, when you have a menu that, um, that takes you down to a, a certain part of the page, which is what we call a single page or one page uh, layout. So, this particular button will take us to the about uh, section. So this will take us to a row that has an ID called about or with the name about. So this is why the row ID is important and you can set it up here. And you also have another, the second option is the row width uh, and you can have, you can use the, the full width or the regular size. Basically, the regular size, the content will be contained here on center, and if you use full width, it will go to until the the sides or the, the limits of your screen. Uh, there's also this this option here, which we are using on this particular row, which is uh, force the row height to be 100%. And you can see that here because if you resize your screen, the the first row will always have 100% height of your of your screen. So but you also have other options you can this is the default option the regular which you don't um, the row height will depend on the content there uh, there's you can also specify a specific height uh, and you can you can put it here um, you can just then force 100 percent and the content will be will be shown uh, or, or aligned with the top you can force 100% height and content on center and content aligned with bottom. This is what we have here on this particular case. Um, there's also this uh, option here, which you probably are, are also never going to need, but you can make the row have a little less than 100% height. If you want to have some show a little bit of the next or, sorry, of the next row, if you want, so you can um, use here uh, for instance, let me show you this one. If I set up here 50 pixels, save. So basically I'm saying that this row should have the screen height less 15 pixels. And let's see how, when I refresh, you see, now I have here 50 pixels uh, after. So this may be important on, on certain cases, but um, usually you, you also never, you, you are not going to need this option. Then we have here padding options for the row. You can assign a top padding, bottom padding, and also bottom margin if you want. Uh, you can have a row background color. In this case, we are using an image, but you can set up here a color too. And um, 
as background you can have a, a, an image or a video so if you use an image it's really simple just select the image from your media library and um, when you do that you will have here some some options related with the image which is uh, you can preload the background image if you want which basically will will show the content only after this specific image is loaded then you have you have your multiple uh, effects for uh, in terms of background uh, image display you can have it with a fixed position parallax cover with uh, image aligned with top center or bottom or contain so you, you can have uh, all of that here um, you can also have a, a, an overlay above the um, the background image or video yeah, I usually use this only for videos but you can have some dots or vertical lines to make uh, the image a little bit darker and this, these are the options related with the uh, background uh, image. If you select a video, you will also put here the video uh, MP4 and WebM file path and also a video image fallback for mobile devices. Uh, and also you can have a parallax effect for the video. So let's select our image again and uh, continuing here under, once again back to the row options. You can align the text with, with the left, uh, center or right side. So you can set up a specific text color for this row. And uh, finally, you can choose if you want to pan down the slide down arrow um, to the bottom of this row, which is this, row, this arrow here. You, you can also define that here on the row settings. And uh, as usual, for all the, um, the page elements, you can have um, uh, CSS animation when the element uh, arrives to or appears on the viewport. So this is common to um, or this appears on all page elements. And uh, also, as usual, you can assign a specific class name to this row if you want to somehow change it to uh, his prop the row properties with CSS. So this video, I. I I think it's really important that you see all these options and they are all really important uh, in terms of um, what you can do with rows because the theme is, is really flexible and uh, when you add a row or when you when you are using the um, one of the one-click um, page samples make sure that you explore these options and adjust them if you want to somehow change or, or tweak the that that particular row uh, I think that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching.